I'm Rafael from Nepata and I love listening to you today FM. My name is Dan Gudla and I'm from Australia but I'm part region from Rotraki and I love listening to today FM Rocks. For the best music and less talk, we tune in to Today FM in Nasilai Village. Today FM Rocks. My name is Inaya Ali and I'm from Ba and I love the big breakfast on Today FM. I just love it and hope you love it too. My name is Jay from La Pasa. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM Rocks. My name is Naushin and I'm from Sambeto and I love Today FM. Today FM Rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. I'm Amrita Priya Darshni. This is FBC News. Free set-top boxes to access a digital TV given out to those that qualify. And lack of gravel supply will not impede roadworks. The 2016 Rio Olympics has taken center stage across the world after its opening ceremony today. Athletes, officials and fans from all corners of the globe gathered at the Maracana Stadium in Rio de Janeiro to witness the opening. Fijians who qualify for free set-top boxes to access digital TV had smiles on their faces today. Most of them are part of the government's water and electricity subsi subsidy living along the Lamy Nosori corridor. Savaratambua has more on the story. 70-year-old Lavinia Lala Kondraketi is one of the beneficiaries who received her very own set-top box during the roadshow in Nakasi with the help of the acting Prime Minister Ayaz Sayed Kayoum. Others who also benefited from the scheme are thankful for the government initiative. By having the set-top boxes, I will not miss anything on TV. I'm glad the government has installed six channels. Proud that these boxes are free. We just had to plug the wires on our TV at home. Acting Prime Minister Ayaz Sayed Kayum says glitches identified during the test period will be cleaned up in the next three to four months, followed by consultations with TV stations. Clearly, you know, the TV, um, the channel allocation also is for the trial period. Um, the YLC will, of course, then determine which channels go to which uh, TV companies, but for the trial period, um, it's allocated as, as per the lottery draw uh, by the OPM. The, the, the idea is to have it uh, tested in this uh, very heavily sort of populated corridor that you get to get rid of all the glitches. So when you go to the Western Division and Northern Division, there won't be that much of a trial period, so to speak. People who earn less than $30,000 a year and below and use less than 98 kilowatts of electricity a month qualify for the Wallace subsidy. If you have those two criteria and uh, you check your bill and you don't have a government subsidy yet on your bill, we invite you to come down to FA Customer Care Centre and we'll register you so you can qualify for the government subsidy. About 11,000 FEA customers have been subsidized by government. As of 12 p.m. today, more than 50 Fijians are registered to benefit from the digital platform. Sabera Tambua, FBC News. Gravel supply or the lack of it will now not impede the construction and upgrading of rural roads in the Northern Division. The Commissioner Northern's office has secured a contractor who will now supply gravel for all roadworks. Eleanor Trangai View reports. Over the weekend, the Fiji Roads Authority issued a statement saying works on two major road projects in the Northern Division will be slightly delayed due to the lack of gravel supply. These are the 9-kilometer Natewa West Coast Road Upgrade and the 4.5-kilometer Kortasere Road Project. This was the only one that uh, the progress was thwarted by the lack of gravel or the insecurity of uh, the company to to have uh, uh, some gravel uh, contract, but that has been sorted out. Uh, the Commissioner Northern's office has been able to secure a contractor that will now supply gravel to the Fiji Roads Authority as it builds new roads and upgrades existing ones. As far as uh, roading uh, projects uh, is concerned, uh, in uh, part of Mateo uh, Bay West Coast Road, including Cortaser, so the Lenon was given their consent for the government or FRA to continue getting gravel from uh, the gravel pit until all the roading uh, works uh, as, as long as they, they need it for roading works. 
works on the two road projects which comes under the FRA's development of rural road scheme Northern Division are expected to be completed before this month ends. Uh, the work is in um, progress and uh, last week uh, they already extracted about uh, 2,000 cubic meters of gravel from uh, the gravel pit that's been given to them. Commissioner Northern Chavesa Wadia says they now expect all future roadworks to be done smoothly without any hiccups. FRA attributed the lack of gravel supply to the process involved for contractors to obtain gravel extraction licenses. Eleanor Turangaibu, FBC News. The Fijian Elections Office held an information session with the political parties on the polling venue locator application yesterday. This is a geographical information system or mapping of polling venues app commonly used overseas. With the Kapatap reports. This was the first of a series of information sessions that will be conducted ahead of the 2018 general elections. The polling venue locator application is new for Fiji, as Fijians will now be able to locate polling venues at their own convenience. Dealing with uh, the polling venue locator application and uh, we were uh, exchanging ideas and views about the polling venues that we have identified, as well as um, uh, talking about how to use the new survey feature that has been uh, implemented into the app. Sanim says the survey feature incorporated into the app will allow the elections office to do crowdsourcing. Information that we have gathered over the past 18 months now needs to go back for further verification and, and it is uh, an expensive exercise for the FEO to be going out uh, at all times to keep the venue data updated. We'd rather allow the members of the public to, uh, to, to also comment on these venues to allow us to understand their views of the venues. The elections supervisor says political parties will also play a crucial role in this as they need to know about the intended polling venues for the upcoming elections. Give us their own feedback and recommendations about those particular venues, um, perhaps from the 2014 general election or from their own knowledge of the particular area. So uh, in, 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 a, in a nutshell, we're trying to um, uh, allow the political parties uh, the access to comment on the venues for the next general election as well as to uh, to familiarize themselves with uh, where we will be doing polling and pre-poll. The elections office is proposing 306 new polling venues and Sanim says uh, this will be an ideal time for the parties to give their feedback before the list is finalized. Ritika Pratap, FBC News. Drug and alcohol addiction among all age groups is now a growing concern for authorities in Fiji. Savaratambo reports local and non-governmental organization Salvation Army of Fiji has designed programs to help people get out of it. A feasibility study on the effect of drugs and alcohol in Fiji conducted last year shows there is a huge addiction problem. Salvation Army of Fiji is now scrutinizing this finding. We do want to know uh, what level of, uh, of, use, of, uh, of use they do have on a daily basis. Uh, from then on, we will know what, uh, what type of services um, will be required for them to take. Epironi Toroi says, through their support programs, they deal with individuals with drug addiction and alcohol problems on a daily basis. In terms of, of counseling and um, cognitive uh, behavioral therapy um, and also um, uh, spiritual support for those who need that uh, spiritual, uh, spiritual support. Yeah? He says the most common drug addiction in Fiji is of marijuana. Probably the, in the case of, uh, of, um, of marijuana, which is probably um, uh, available uh, almost all over Fiji. The team from Salvation Army will be conducting alcohol and drug awareness program for the women's wing at the Fiji Correction Services in Corvo on Monday. Sabira Tambua, FBC News. Still to come on FPC News, 40 children to undergo open heart surgery. And more than 500 people graduated from FNU Sustainable Livelihood Project. Stay with us. Salabila, I must do the Taltena Valley of Nabungora and Bulefem, Baltendo 
Bula FM nambang 2 en seri. Welcome back you with FPC News. 40 children between the ages of 3 months and 11 years will undergo cardiac surgery at the CWM hospital starting Monday. The Sai Prema Foundation in partnership with the Ministry of Health and Medical Services has brought in a medical team from the Sanjeevani Hospital in India. Pranitha Prakash tells us more. Children from all over Fiji who have been on the waiting list for some time will be undergoing heart surgeries. Local coordinator for Sai Prema Foundation, Dr. Krupali Tapu, says the initiative helps needy children whose families can't afford the $55,000 bill. From three months to about 11 years, uh, they come from pretty much all over Fiji. Um, there's children from Nosori, Suva, Lautoka, Lombasa and the surrounding areas. So we're looking at pretty much children from every part of Fiji. Dr. Tapu says many of the diagnosed children can lose their life if not operated on. Most of the specialized equipment and medicines will be provided by Sanjeevni Hospital based in India. They've made a lot of efforts in terms of you know, paying for their own airfares through their own hospital. They're bringing a whole load of equipments and consumables that will be used for the surgery um, that's been, that, that was shipped to, to Fiji. Um, also, they're bringing a whole lot of consumables with themselves as well. The team of 10 doctors, nurses and cardiac specialists will be screening children at the CWM hospital from this weekend. Pranita Prakash, FBC News. Indian High Commissioner to Fiji, Vishwa Sapkal, says India stands ready to help Fiji at all times. Speaking at the third Vishwa Hindu conference in Suva this morning, Sapkal said India has offered a lot in recent years. Shireen Shivan reports. It's a conference which brings together the followers of Hinduism to discuss their achievements and contribution towards the country. Hindus in Fiji have excelled in fields of commerce, education, law, politics, medical, academic, agriculture, and many respectable professions, contributing not only to their own community, but the country as a whole. Vishwa Hindu Parishad Fiji has played a huge role in the relief work undertaken after tropical cyclone Winston assisting more than 3,000 families with food, water, shelter and solar lanterns. Apart from the assistance by the local NGOs, the Indian government was amongst those foreign countries that helped Fiji. We are also adopting the Fijian schools which are being hit by after the resistance. The process is going on and we are uh, a partner of Fijian development process. We are assisting Fiji uh, by providing a Fijian dollar 4.7 billion for its SME sector. The theme for the two-day conference is Saving Community, Saving Fiji. Members of the parliament, religious and civil society organizations and Hindu followers are part of the two-day event. Sharin Shivan, FBC News. More than 500 people, both young and old, graduated from the Fiji National University's Sustainable Livelihood Project in Butia Rewa. Acting Prime Minister Aya Said Kayum says the government is committed to ensuring that this training is taken to other parts of the country as well. Sharin Shrivan once again. The new graduates from Vutia Rewa are now among the 10,000 people in Rewa who have recently graduated from the Fiji National University's TVET scheme. A two-week training course in boat building, in learning how to uh, make cakes, make a coffin, goes a long way. It helps you to get into your own business. It helps you to be able to find employment a lot more easily. It also empowers you to be able to work together as a community to do many projects perhaps you have not done before. Sayed Kayum has encouraged the graduates to further their skills by joining the technical colleges. And now for these graduates, it was a time for double celebration. The acting Prime Minister has announced a better mobile coverage in the area soon. So I spoke to the CEO of Vodafone uh, on my way down here. So they will send a technical team tomorrow 
to see how they can strengthen the signal. So they will put a repeater. <laughs> they will put what they call a repeater station. So please help them to identify an area where they, it's, it's more like an aerial. They'll put up a new aerial so you get the signal to be very strong so you can get better reception with the telephones. The government has spent $5 million towards FNU's TVET scheme. Recently, 700 people graduated with the TVET certificate in Nodorewa. Sharin Shivan, FBC News. Acting Prime Minister Ayaz Sayed Kayyum says rules, values and certain principles that need to be adhered to needs to be applied equally. The minister made this comment at the 10 India San Marga Ikke Sangam Fiji or the TISI Sangam Seminar in Nandi. The two-day seminar is attended by Sangam Head of Schools, Management and Students. Speaking on the theme, Embracing Values for a Culture of Honesty, Sayed Kayum urged teachers and students to have compassion and be honest. It's very, very important and sometimes we forget that. People tend to forget that. Oh, he's my uncle's son. It's okay. You sometimes then you sort of become subjective about it. But when you don't know anybody, you don't know that person personally, then you may actually be very strict about applying the rules. The last freehold development site on the Suva Nosori corridor will be developed into commercial and residential properties. The Vitivo Estates in the Vuilevu Nosori is being developed by the Hexagon Group of Hotels. The group chairman, Hafiz Khan, says there will be five commercial lots, 144 residential lots and a four-star hotel in the pipeline. For total project, well, this, this uh, shopping centre with land and all the um, ancillaries is about 8.2 million, 8.3 million. And the land development is costing us about nine with the land and, and the development works. The hotel we don't know yet because uh, we will uh, decide on uh, uh, what the design is going to be, but it will be easily six to eight million. Coming up in sports, Nandranga retains Skipper Cup title. And more on Rio Olympics. This and more after the break. Bula, I'm Duri from Nasinu Market. My choice is simple, Gold FM. Only the classic hits. My name is Yvonne. I'm from Nandi. I love Gold FM. Only the classic hits. Sayandra, my name is Sunny. Only the Gold FM at Golden Point Resort, Rocky Rocky. Hi, I'm Anna of Nasinu. When it comes to a radio, my choice is always Gold FM. Only the classic hits. My name is Anna and I'm from uh, Nandi. I love listening to Gold FM. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits. Welcome to FPC Sports. BLK Nandronga rugby side has retained the Skipper Cup title after defeating Suva 17-12 in the final this afternoon at the ANZ Stadium in Suva. The Stallions made eight penalties and a try was scored by Choeli Lutumailangi in the first half. Here are the highlights. And then Nandronga gets it away. Choeli Lutumailangi will go in to score the try. He's gone on for Suva. Meli Corisaro and he's left at the flags. Good kick by Meli Corisaro. Suva defending the seaward end of the National Stadium as Wangatambu sees it and he puts it over. So, Nandronga, 11 and uh, Suva 6, uh, all good to uh, go back on the park. So we'll just wait and see. Uh, and Korisaru from right in front, uh, he uh, shoots it through and it's now 11 points to 9. Let's wait now for Apisalome Wangatambu to see if he can uh, put 3 points over for Nandronga. Two meters outside the 10 and 19 meters in from the green stain touch. And uh, Wangatambu sends it through and that goes, it hits the upright and uh, slides in. And that is good enough. And that is now 14 points to 9. A converted try can win the game for Suva. Apisalome Wangatambu sends it through. The flags go up and 38 minutes on my time and Apisalome Wangatambu has now made it 17 points to 12. It's like have turned it over. Referee playing advantage and he says no. We have the scrum to Nandronga. Nandronga are the Skipper Cup champions third time in a row. Nandronga have beaten Suva by 17 points to 12. A new champion will be crowned at this year's Coke Zero Deans. 
This is after Maris Brothers High School beat Ratu Kandavulevu School 14-5 in the second semi-final this afternoon. While QVS defeated Nasinu Secondary 25 in the first semi-final, QVS has qualified for the finals of all grades. QVS will meet Ratu Sukuna Memorial School in the under-14 final. This is after RSMS beat Maris Brothers 7-0 and QVS thrashed Suva Grammar 29-0 in the semi-finals. In the under-15 grade, QVS will meet RKS in the final. RKS defeated Marist 8-5 while QVS beat Lelin Memorial 15-0. QVS under-14 team will face RKS in the final. Team PG gets its campaign underway at the Olympic Games tomorrow morning with the women's rugby side in action. Fiji women will play USA at 4.30 a.m. before meeting Australia at 9.30 a.m. In table tennis, Sally Yee will be in action at 12 p.m. while Robert Elder takes part in archery. Cloudy conditions with some rain was, ex was experienced over the country today. It remained a hot day. Temperatures in Lambasa, Savu Savu and Ba were recorded in the, in the low 30 degrees, while Nandi was on 29 and Suva on 28 degrees. The outlook for tomorrow, occasional rain with isolated heavy falls and thunderstorms over the western parts of Fiji, gradually spreading to the rest of Fiji during the day. And for Monday, rain continuing at sea, moderate to rough seas. Recapping the main stories, 2016 Olympic Games officially opens with a colourful ceremony. Free set-top boxes to access digital TV given out to those that qualify. And lack of gravel supply will not impede roadworks in the Northern Division. For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. On to this week's poll question. And we are asking... Should Ben Ryan be given Fijian citizenship? To answer, visit our FBC website. You can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via our Facebook page, FBC News. Or if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. You've been watching FBC News. I'm Amrita Priya Darshni. Good night. मैं वो रेयान खान गुरबो तालेबु के जैसे वेस्टिवल एग्रेड है गुरबो में उसी तरह मिर्ची एफएम नंबर वन है गुरबो में एंड एलिन लटका में मिर्ची एफएम को लॉक कर दिया जाए मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हॉट हम नकाशी से सायमा ने हमारे वेस्टिवल जैसे नंबर वन है वैसे मिर्ची एफएम नंबर वन है माय नेम इ